what I'm particularly looking forward to about this boat show is hey, the, the size of it. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the uh, boat show again this year. Uh, we go nearly every year that it's been going that I can remember. Always take the family with us. An absolutely fantastic day out. It looks like the boat show this year is going to be all about getting people involved and, and giving them first-hand contact and making it all accessible for them. going to the knowledge box and hopefully there'll be some um, solo sailors there, the likes of Mike Golding would be fantastic to listen what he has to say about his ocean technique. Well, part of the thing about the knowledge box and seeing all the celebrities is looking at people who you might admire if you're really interested in the sport already and know about them and be able to see them and listen to real life action stories. The other thing is again to enthuse uh, new participants and to hear real life stories uh, what goes on at sea and what they can teach you and the experiences that they've had. I think you know, the boardwalk itself I think is also crucial because a lot of consumers are always concerned about being told to look at a boat one way and they want to get right around and look at every aspect of it before they make probably one of the biggest purchases they're likely to make. So it's very important to see every single dimension um, of that product and I think that's going to be crucial and the boardwalk should do very well. The boardwalk, having a completely different perspective on a boat, is you, you see it flat on the water, you just see part of it. So from above you can see every angle of the boat, the bits that work and the bits that move, so you can almost imagine sailing on it. So it's a completely different perspective, but it's fantastic to be able to have that. Yeah, demonstrations from exhibitors actually allow you to make the right choice about what you're buying, otherwise you're relying on reviews that you've read or other people's um, know-how, but if you can actually see for real the, the kit in motion, then you'd be able to work out whether it's the right thing for you. It can only be a good thing. The whole concept of actually teaching people live in a safe environment and somebody like John Good who's very experienced, loads of people are frightened by using a cruising ship and if he can just unravel the mysteries for them then it would be a brilliant thing to do. I think the used boat element of the show is really important for people who just come into the sport who don't want to pay an awful lot of money for a brand new boat but have got enthused about sailing and it makes it a bit more accessible. It's like buying your first car or your first house. So you can go in, have a look around at the used boat, see the pricing, see the affordability of it, and get excited about your first boat. The thing about the Water Sports Action Pool is you can see people doing it, demonstrating it and to actually be able to have a go and try all these different things and do the kayaking and the wakeboarding and these other pieces. It's fantastic to be able to participate and see the action at the same time. Yeah, the Water Sports Action Pool will be very good. Wakeboard, paddle boarding uh, and the best thing is we can all have a go. Always take the family with us and that's a really fantastic day out.